What up, Block Fam? Welcome to the episode today. It might sound a little different in today's episode. Kind of getting over some stuff. Here you go. Right now, I am packing to go to the UK um, with Rurock. So if you guys don't know Rurock, a supporter of the channel, they are a helmet manufacturer. So I've got one of their helmets here. I've had uh, all of the previous iterations of the helmets as well, from the Atlas 1.0 to the 4, which is this one. Great helmets. I'm a big supporter of them, great company. While I'm over in the UK, we're basically gonna be doing an event. I'm gonna be checking out their headquarters as well, which I'm gonna take the camera for and show you guys pretty much all of that. So you're gonna get a really good behind the scenes glimpse into like this, this company. And then also just like the experience of an American being in the UK. So as of today filming this, it is a day before Thanksgiving. You guys are probably gonna see it this start of December. So I'm gonna be in the UK for an American holiday, Thanksgiving. I think I'm gonna try to buy some tea somewhere and just like pour it on the ground in defiance. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to do like a kind of a quick and dirty thing like I'm packing up here at the shop and showing you guys basically everything that I'm grabbing to go over there. So this is pretty much my travel bag. I've got my laptop here, uh, which has this little pocket in the back for. This is a uh, bag from Peter McKinnon. So if you guys don't know Peter McKinnon, do you know Peter McKinnon? Do you? No, no you do not. Peter McKinnon is a YouTuber as well. He's a uh, photography, like gear review kind of guy. Really beautiful stuff for his videos. A really, really big fan of his his style and his channel. If you guys wanna go check him out. So yeah, he came out with this bag not too long ago. Spot for the laptop there. There's a spot for a tablet here, which I will have a tablet It's at home right now. Um, then we've got some microphones, some connection cables, chargers, stuff like that. Some ND filters. We've got the Canon, uh, what is it, the R5. Batteries here, a little air blower thing to clean lenses, and then SD cards. We've got a case with a couple different things in it um, from more cables. We've got an extra lens. So we've got a 50 millimeter on there. This is a 16 to 35, both L glass. We've got a power bank, Insta360, and then I'm gonna go through and organize all of this. This is just like neck pillows, some motorcycle gloves, uh, a deck of cards, chargers, and a little audio recorder thing. So I need to go through, whenever I get home, I'm gonna organize all that. That's my carry-on, so I'm gonna carry that onto the plane with me. And I need my helmet, so yeah, helmet. Pretty sure that's everything I need, but I always feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm probably forgetting something. Zuko, what am I forgetting? I need new SD cards, because a couple of my SD cards have been being weird and like giving me some issues. And so I'm gonna go by Best Buy, buy some more SD cards, buy some more GoPro batteries as well. But I gotta go say bye to the guys first and uh, be gone for nine days. Crazy, it's a while. So I'm gonna be uh, taking this box, the Beamer Drift build that I've been working on. I'm leaving the truck here because these guys over here, Mad Detailing, they're uh, actually gonna do a detailing episode on it. So I'm gonna leave them the keys for the truck. So I have to drop Zuko off at the boarding place. The place where I board him is actually uh, his trainer as well, uh, Roddy from Astro K9 Dog Training. If you guys have dogs, you're in the Central Florida area, looking for a great trainer, potentially boarding, hit them up. Hey. What is this? What is this? No, oh, it's like a... Don't, don't it's not interrupt a stick him. Bug, right? Ew. He's chilling. What is it? It's like a stick bug, isn't it? Caterpillar. It's a stick bug. Caterpillar. It's, it's like... a stick bug. Yeah, That's it's, a, it's a stick bug. You know Justin's terrified of it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> He's harmless. <laughs> You ain't doing nothing. So for those of you that don't know, Justin's terrified of bugs for some reason. You missed my initial reaction when I first discovered it. We were just sitting here talking and I was like, ah! So dragonflies, this is this is the one that surprises me the most. Dragonflies, like the most gentle creature ever. Dude, he is terrified. Like it they'll comes, be flying around the shop. It can be like 10 feet away well, from him and he's like, ah! Well, <laughs> dude, it's like, it's one thing to see it, but then it was like beelining towards me. It's oh. a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm leaving for nine days, and it's great to know this the shop. This is what we're leaving. The shop too, is in yeah, very right capable here. hands. Real men, real men. <laughs> Dragonfly. <flat. laughs> <laughs> so where are you going? London, UK. Yeah, yeah, we're rocking. Doing over there? Motorcycle show and riding motorcycles in the rain and cold. Who's playing soccer on uh, Friday? Oh yeah. England, it's football, England but we we call it soccer. England, football. USA. For those of you that don't know, Vinny big into soccer. USA. Playing the whole World country Cup. of yeah, England. This is World Cup. This and is we World are Cup. going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping I don't get stabbed because we're going to a pub, like a proper pub. I'm going to actually just wear an American flag, have a bald eagle on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the crest that says defend freedom or something right here. Just going to say, <laughs> your tea. <laughs> All right, guys. Goodbye for nine days. Don't burn this place down. Ta ta. For now. Just bump. Just bump. Just bump. So yeah, I was saying I'm leaving the Raptor because uh, 
the guys here are detailing it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it over. Come on, man. <laughs> That was a good idea. Leaving. Remember what you did to me last week, right? <laughs> Leaving the uh, Raptor in the capable hands of Foster here for Mad Detailing. It's gonna get it muddy, have some fun with it, and then do a detailing episode on it. And I said, good luck on the interior because Zuko has been all up in that thing, so. But they do good work here. So you guys be sure to check out their channel if you want to get that episode of the uh, the Raptor detail. It's gonna be fun. What's the link? YouTube.com slash Mad Detailing. There you go. He's editing right now on this car that I gave him some advice on and uh, he hated me afterwards for it, so. Yeah, but now I'm about to get so we're a little scared on the uh, drop in the Raptor. <laughs> All right, dude, I appreciate you. <laughs> you ready to go, bud? All right, let's go. All right, Zuko, we're here. Are you excited? <laughs> He's excited. So I'm getting ready to head to London. So you guys are gonna have him for a good amount of time, like almost two weeks almost, I think. Okay, that's So fine. you guys have seen Roddy in episodes before, totally dropped Zuko off when he was a puppy still, brought him back for like, what is it? Reinforcement training yeah, as well? Yeah. And then uh, boarding is also something that you guys offer with training. Correct. So I've been boarding Zuko anytime that I gotta go out of town and stuff. And he gets training while he's here. So you guys be sure to hit them up. We've actually had some of our customers uh, hit you guys up trained with you guys and boarded. Welcome to our pack. Yeah, it's awesome. So quality stuff, huge difference after I uh, dropped him off the first time and got him back. So highly recommend. Thank you, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, at home and it is time to start packing and organizing a lot of this stuff. Captain Anna looking after me and she got me one of these like converter plug charger things. So super cool. One of those things I didn't really think about. I've got a neck pillow for the flight since it's like a nine hour flight. And then obviously making sure I have the most important things while going over there in order to be able to film, which is the GoPro that I'm holding right now, the GoPro on my helmet. Uh, the microphone, the mic adapter, all that stuff. Gloves, and then I'm gonna be packing clothes and all that stuff. Also for flying, absolute necessity, AirPods. If you've flown with AirPods before, the noise cancellation, freaking amazing, total game changer, and obviously my passport so that I can get on the plane and not be turned away whenever I land in England. So I'm gonna get all this organized, packed up into here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. This is like the new terminal for Orlando. It's like a C terminal. And there's not a lot of people here at this terminal. So I'm gonna go find my gate and then grab some food that I won't eat until after takeoff. I've learned my lesson from flying over the many, many years. Don't eat before takeoff because if it's a rough, bumpy takeoff, bleh. This handle broke off a couple trips ago, and now this one just disint. What'd you say? Disintegrated? It's like evaporated as soon as you try to lift it up. Also, we're in London, and Archie's here to be my chauffeur. Tour guide chauffeur. What's funny is we're in London, but his name is Archie Vegas, so it doesn't make sense. This is really awkward. Like, these won't go back in now because I don't have the little handle thing to retract it. So I need a new bag while we're here. <laughs> Loaded the bag in the back and I went to walk to that side of the car. It's backwards. <laughs> Weird. Why am I on this side? <laughs> this feels so strange. We're in lovely British weather. Sunny old England. Oh no, yes. It's been like this for hours. Weeks actually. <laughs> <laughs> and your fing parking spots are too small. <laughs> I can barely open this door. Don't you know I'm a fat American? <laughs> so we're driving and I'm like, look at these cute little houses. What'd you say? Some of these are like decent, decent, fairly decent sized houses. Think bike, what does that mean? Think like bikes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it oh. just say like watch for bikes or yeah, like? Yeah, it's like, like, yeah, it's just, it's like this time. 
What's this guy doing? Hey, you're in England, get on the other side of the road. Oh, are you working? All right, you wankers, here we are at a proper British pub. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call anyone a wanker in there. All right, you lovely people. A proper, <laughs> proper British pub. <laughs> All right, man, this, how old is this? It looks old. A few moments later. All right, Termut Hoer. <laughs> how, how, how do you say that? It's actually Termut Hoer. Termut Hoer. First experience at a Termut Hoer house. <laughs> Look at the cute little houses. <laughs> I keep calling everything in my country cute, and I have a big problem. <laughs> it's all so small. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're tall, so yeah. I mean, you're still cute, cute. <laughs> oh man, it's just so different, like the architecture and the little squiggly lines in the road. Like I keep on seeing people in the right side of their cars. I'm like, what the? F or like, I, I whenever we walked back up to the truck, I walked up to that side. It's gonna take me like a week to get used to it. And then once I do, I'm gonna go back to Florida. In the normal season, I'm not sure because I'm not a farmer and stuff, but they, in through this where your hotel is, a lot of the time during the year, there's just like random sheep walking in the road. Oh wow. Yeah. I have seen a lot of sheep on the way here. Yeah, but they, they, they literally like, will just be in the road. Hmm. And you just have to stop. It's like cranes in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Or alligators. Alligators, yeah, we have, we don't have alligators, we have sheep. Florida, um, snakes, spiders, alligators. People. People on map. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally like nothing here that's like life threatening. You can sleep outside and just. Oh, oh yeah, people get drunk and sleep outside and stuff all the time. <laughs> Not like by choice, but just by poor life choice. <laughs> all right, guys, in the hotel room. Came here and I was fully planning on doing like the whole intro and showing you guys, but I legit walked in, hit the bed, out. So, bathroom. This is super weird. There's a lot of like hot. Caution hot, caution hot, caution hot. And then this thing says the towel rail is hot. It's like, it's like actually hot. Like what the f that's weird. That's interesting. You got a couple fans cause there's no air conditioning at hotel rooms and stuff in England, I guess. The window propped open here. There's the view, I'm like halfway underground. Super uncomfortable chair that looks comfortable. The bed's actually very comfortable, so that's what matters. And uh, yeah, I just gotta unpack some, and then Archie's gonna come back, scoop me up. We're gonna go buy a replacement bag for this piece of shit that broke, because I don't wanna have to repack everything into that thing once I unpack it. So I'm gonna get some chargers, get some stuff to charging, and we'll be on the way. So let's go ahead and do all that. All right, I'm ready to go, boys. And the five girls that watch this channel, I have no idea what Tesco is, but he said it's like Walmart, I guess. In these episodes, I'm gonna try to include one question to ask whoever it is that I'm spending time with, because I'm gonna be spending time with a bunch of people while I'm here. Archie is definitely gonna be one that you guys are gonna see recurring, uh, because he's kind of the host, if you will. He's like one of my really great friends. I call him my brother, really, really great dude. You guys be sure to go give him a follow, Instagram tag right there. So I brought this deck of cards that we've actually used in our podcast before. It's uh, from this YouTube channel called Seek Discomfort. and. Uh, it just has like really, really insightful, like kind of questions. And so the one that I'm gonna ask him, and I'll answer it for you guys as well, um, if you haven't listened to our podcast, is what is the best piece of advice that you have ever been given? If you guys wanna participate, comment down below the best piece of advice that you've ever been given. It'll be super insightful. So I'm pretty much ready. I'm gonna show you guys the exit to this hotel. Carrying this freaking huge bag, it was a huge pain in the ass to get to this room because of all the stairs. It's pretty ridiculous, so. All right, door one. Door two. Stairs. Door three. Door four. <laughs> Think about having to do this with a bag that weighs like 50 pounds and it's huge. Door five. Stairs. And that's it. Dude, the parking spaces are so small. My oh, Raptor so would never too. live here. My Beamer would though. All right, so we're at Tesco, the Walmart of England. Asda is the Walmart. I think, I think Asda is owned by Walmart. 
All right, guys. It's a pretty nice store. Yeah. You just pointed out something hilarious. So, Let's go over here and check it out. You're an American <laughs> yeah. in a store in Gloucester, which is like quite not like a big major city in the UK. And then we just have a jumper that says Idaho. <laughs> 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 what? Is, like, there's no contact. So random. random. And there's like a good amount of them too. Like how many people... But people in England were aware of this and be like, Idaho. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Well, it was like the... What was the stuff that we had earlier? The um, Kansas. Kansas. Kansas beans. Yeah, they had Kansas beans on a menu. And I'm like, I've never even heard of that. And I'm from the <laughs> United States. Have you ever heard of Kansas beans? Never. Split Kansas beans or something. <laughs> Y'all are weird here, bro. <laughs> Trying to like use like random states. Yeah, just. <laughs> I know. It's so stupid. We're thinking about it. It's terrible. So they didn't have the uh, the bags here. They had some, but they were definitely not big enough. So They're only big enough for a couple of Idaho hoodies. That's it. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Try number two. We're here at Sainsbury's. How do you say it? Sainsbury's. I'm really hoping they have Idaho hoodies. See what state state we can find in this place. I guarantee that'll probably be like something with like an American reference on it. Though. There's a Texas one, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Texas is awesome, so <laughs> no idea what that means. So do like, tell. <laughs> it's like a play on words, like all good in the hood. Yeah, but what's the pud? Pudding. Pudding? Like Christmas pudding. Dessert? Yeah, that's a Christmas pudding. What is a pudding to you guys? <laughs> Dessert. It's a cat. Like dessert, like you have your starter, your main, and then, oh, what are you gonna have for pudding? Oh, good in the pudding. That's dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is that? A suitcase. No, the Duracell bunny. What? What's wrong with that? That doesn't exist in the US. There is no mascot for Duracell. The, really? The rabbit is Energizer. Duracell doesn't have a mascot in the US. In the UK, apparently. They have a bunny as the mascot for Duracell, and it looks really creepy. <laughs> Look at that. He's not too sure, is he? Like, he doesn't believe in the product he's selling. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't, get a lot, I don't get a lot of confidence from this bunny. <laughs> the Energizer bunny, though. <sighs> no look at Sainsbury's. Now we're gonna go to Asda. Asda? Uh huh. How do you know this is owned by Walmart? Bigger parking spaces. Oh, shit. America. <laughs> All right, as the Santa. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. <sighs> fail. Another fail. Another fail. We just asked the employees straight up this time. <laughs> no luggage. And they said Tesco's, but been there. Been there. So my expectations were low, but damn. What's the next one? Morrison's the last hurrah. The if, last hope. Yeah. If not, then we just get beer. That works too. <laughs> so somehow we're talking about girls not being friends with other girls really well. Like if, if I've got a homie and I'm friends with Archie and they've never met, we could totally introduce yeah. them and they'd like get I'm along taking fine. You out on Friday with all of my mates. Yeah, that's so fine. It's gonna be a riot. Yeah. But like girls, for some reason, they don't want to mix friends. No, strange. Weird. I think my demographic is like 94% male. <laughs> so for you 6% women that are watching, let us know what you think. <laughs> Drop a comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fail. Fourth fail. And the lady that we talked to said to Amazon it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll continue it tomorrow. All right. Blank. All right, guys, it's raining as always in this place. And uh, we're going to this place called Perry Passion. And they got chicken. All right, guys, that is day one in the UK. England, London, Gloucester, in a pub, lots of different stores. Been a pretty crazy day. Super cool, lots of fun, super thankful. It's crazy to think like me filming this is like on Thanksgiving. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed day one. If you guys wanna keep up with the rest of the stuff that's coming out, be sure to hit subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this one, hit the like, subscribe, bell icon, all that good stuff. I'm freaking beat. I'm literally running off like a few hours of sleep because sleep on the plane was garbage. I'm gonna get some rest. I gotta be up and uh, should be able to get a good amount of sleep, like six or seven, eight hours ish. Tomorrow, uh, we're checking out Rorock headquarters, uh, meeting the team up there, and uh, super, super stoked to be able to do that because I've been working with these guys for a long time. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Ride safe, stay vigilant. Peace.